So, something positive happened to my life recently. I guess you guys know what that means. Token COVID blog. with my lunch to provide me with sustenance to survive the day. This is my second day with this lovely disease. <coughs> Feeling way better as compared to the very first day. I swear I went from like a 0 to 100. I felt a little bit weird in the morning and I took my test and it was negative. And then after that I went out to help do some work for my internship and then I in midway through I was like okay this is not it I am feeling like shit I'm gonna go back real quick and check my temperature and voila I hit like a 39 degrees I can't even remember the last time I had a fever that high I essentially just spent the whole day that day sleeping slept throughout the afternoon slept throughout the evening didn't even eat dinner I also refused to take Panadol because a fever is actually your body's response to a virus or a disease and it intentionally heats up your body such that it can kill the viruses or provides your body with an optimal temperature to I don't know recover please correct me if I'm wrong or just google it yourself so yeah I'm gonna be stuck at home for the next two days or so I've been awake since the morning and I'm already really bored because I can't exactly do much now that I'm sick Let's see where this video takes us, yeah? Ah, I'm so bored. You know what? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for QA questions on my Instagram page and then I'm gonna answer them. And then in the meantime while waiting, I'm just gonna clock in some work. <coughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Me. <coughs> Aha! Let's go! <coughs> Have you ever wondered why coughing gets worse at night? So apparently when we lie down, the mucus automatically begins to pool. I have no idea what that means. So the best way to counteract this is gravitational pool uh, is elevation. And basically you just sleep with the pillow a bit more propped up. What I like to do is that I'll put double pillows instead. <coughs> and apparently dry air can aggravate an already irritated nose and throat, making your nighttime cough worse. So don't switch your air conditioner when you have a cough. And yeah, that's your random fact for the day. <laughs> just got up from another nap. It is 4.54pm. I'm still bored, I'm still sweating. I'm gonna go check out all those questions that you guys sent in. I'm gonna move to somewhere a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Favorite animes? Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood, Mob Psycho, Kid no Saji, Silver Spoon. Will you ever sell out your content if a brand you don't like approaches you? Hey, if a brand that I do not like approaches me, I'll probably not entertain them to the point where I would collaborate with them. To me, it would be pretty immoral if I were to push out a video selling a brand that I personally do not believe in or it's a brand that I personally do not like. To me, for me to push out a collaboration with a brand or something, there needs to be a mutual benefit to three parties. And this is something I learned from one of my favorite YouTubers. I think Mr. Who's the Boss or MKBHD. I'm not sure which one. I would personally only do a sponsored post if it's beneficial to me. It is beneficial to the brand and lastly if it's beneficial to the audience. I can go into detail about this in the future but but I'm a bit lazy because yeah I'm sick and stuff. How do you earn for a living? Is there other jobs you do other than YouTube? I'm still a student so it's not something I'm worrying about at the moment. Still on the Papa Mama college scholarship. Food recommendations in NUS. I'm getting tired of all food. Um, there's a new workplace that opened up at U Town. Food click. 
that's pretty decent. You might want to try that out. I do have a video coming up with NUS where I'm going to be showing you guys some of the most affordable foods you can find in the NUS canteen. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. It's chagoyaki real. Chagoyaki can be as real as you want it to be. How's life? Life is tiring. Sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way. This disease nonsense has forced me to slow down a little. I can't exactly slow down because I still have a lot of things that are due. So I'm still trying to do work but I'm still I'm very tired. So. It's tough. I feel like 2022 has been a really good year for me. I'm starting to see some returns from the things that I've been trying to build up ever since 2020. I planned stuff out in 2020. I put them into action in 2021 and I'm finally starting to see some results of it in 2022. But at the same time, it's been exponentially more tiring trying to do everything together. Is it too old to enter uni at the age of 25, 26? I wouldn't think so. Some people even join like when they're 30s and whatnot. So it's whether you can afford that time and money. What's the toughest part of starting a YouTube channel? A lot of things were hard. Initially, achieving consistency was really tough because you had no idea if what you were doing was correct or not. But I would say one of the hardest things for me running did my YouTube channel is that I'm essentially doing almost everything myself barring some other times where someone might help me film as a cameraman or camerawoman I've been doing almost everything by myself like you know ideation uh, filming editing and typing out the video descriptions and adding the video cards and the end cards and yeah contacting people you know settling emails from clients the back and forth doing up proposals that's it for this mini Q&A session. I'm gonna go cook some dinner right now. I'll see you guys in a bit. As usual, made myself some pasta. Hmm. So yeah, while I'm eating my dinner, I'm just gonna reflect a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, the past few weeks have been very tiring. In between juggling school stuff, internship related stuff, my own stuff which includes my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatnot. It's like too many things going on to the point where you are not able to really fully invest yourself in one thing. And that kind of irks me a lot because I feel like I could be doing certain things better only if I was able to afford more effort to that particular thing. And I guess for the past few weeks, I haven't really had much of a breather where I intentionally set aside some time for me to take a break. It's starting to gain on me, I would say. And one reason why I haven't really taken much of a breather is because right at the moment how I'm going about my life is that I am constantly putting out fires keeping my my attention to put out fires that are popping up here and there as deadlines start pouring in instead of intentionally crafting that work for myself I'm busy putting out fires all the time so it's something that's been on my mind quite lately uh, and I think it's something that would span across the rest of the semester as well yeah it's definitely a learning experience uh, taking up these IC roles in hall and in my done CCA as well. I haven't really been the best IC or president for that matter. And I do feel that I have other things that might be of more importance at times. So there's always this conflict between this responsibility I have with new things that start to come out my way. And that's why I try to balance everything. But at the same time, that also means that I can't fully devote myself to one thing. Lah. Yeah, that's why I have been pretty jaded recently. Lah. So for those of you that have watched to this point, I would love to know how you guys have been feeling for the past Past few weeks or so. Are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling elated? You know, do leave them in comments below and tell me why you're feeling that way at this point of the semester. You know, midterms are here or midterms might be over for you. I just want to know what you guys are feeling. Uh, so yeah, feel free to engage with me. I also have a Discord channel where I frequent pretty much every day. So if you want to come chat with me and the other members in my Discord community, then feel free to join it as well. Yeah, I'm just going to eat my dinner and see what I do after that lah. <laughs> yeah.
it's Sunday night right now and since I'm stuck and bored in my room, I'm turning into a Twitch stream right now of my friend Denise, otherwise known as Supercat K. So if you guys don't know about Supercat K, she is an amazing streamer. She started her streaming career just a few months before I started on YouTube and she's become one of the top streamers in Singapore. Insanely, insanely talented woman. She's, yeah, I'm just gonna answer a few more Q&A questions before I end off day two of my COVID vlog thingamabob thing. Wow, this angle does bring me back to the days when I was you know, doing vlogs in my room and not in hall. Globy Gill says, why are you isolating? This is why I'm isolating, Globy. What do you do to find your inner peace? It was passed on to me by the masters of inner peace and meditation. These inspirations of mine have an unrivaled inner tranquility to find their inner peace and they are really masters at what they do especially at you know selling insurance <laughs> and to find your inner peace all you need to do is this action the power pose i mean i wouldn't say i have inner peace <laughs> but if you need inner peace in the moment i guess the best would be to really refocus yourself to the present moment and to do that is to actually focus on your breathing so one thing i learned from therapy is this breathing exercise is basically breathing in for four counts and breathing out for eight counts Uh, and you want to repeat this for about 10 to 20 times and what it's supposed to do it's supposed to make you actually think about breathing and what this does is that it takes your mind to actively think about breathing and keeps your mind engaged in that way so that your mind does not think about other things I know it may sound very fluffy I totally sound like some full meditation fit guru or something right now but you know it does work it actually does work especially if you're feeling a lot of stress in that moment ooh chow What's your deepest fear? My deepest fear is the ocean because the ocean is very deep. <laughs> I actually think I might be afraid of the ocean. I can't wrap my head around the idea that, you know, let's say I swim somewhere deep in the ocean and I look down and there's just no end in sight. It's just very scary to me, you know? The fear of the unknown, the uncertainty of God damn it, the motorbikes. Like what's underneath in the ocean. This that kind of scares me. Chao Xiao Hui also asks, uh, what's your favorite memory? Oh, uh, obviously it was meeting you. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite memories actually. If I could give something a bit more recent, it was probably that day me and my friend Nat we visited Chao's crib to do the photo shoot and impromptu vlog because that was just a really fun and chill day for me. It really allowed me to relax and even though I was filming and taking photos, it didn't feel like work at all. It was just like, you know, hanging out with a bunch of friends. That day itself, it actually kickstarted a lot of things uh, coming into 2022, which I'm sort of still reaping the rewards from, I guess. I discovered a new way to vlog in that particular video, and I've been continuing to vlog in that sort of manner ever since then. I mean, there are other favorite memories I have, but these are things that I might want to keep a bit more private from the camera as of now. <laughs> Fun fact, that video wasn't actually the first time I vlogged with Chow. It was actually when I first took photos with her at Changi Airport. I call the series Airport Chow. I'm gonna roll the clip and bring us back to ancient times in 2021. Your family? Relatively. Hey Chow. Oh no, my take God, a video. A uh not really not so. I mean I can put I can put the mic on later. I was just like taking random oh footage. Like, so 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 um so <laughs> professional. <laughs> I am shy. <laughs> I'm actually very camera shy, do you know? Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm no, not. I'm not. not so today, what did we do? We went to T1, we went to T3, and here we are in Jewel. So we took a couple of pictures. Based on what Dago said, apparently I look ethereal. <laughs> ethereal. And also, wait, one more thing. Very important, actually. So we talked a lot about like how it's important to lead a simple life, right? Yes. Yes, and also about how hustlers are like in uni. I feel like it has been so long since I have even been in a school environment, right? That I've forgotten that students can be pretty damn crazy also lah. So thanks for sharing all your student thoughts with me. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, Tom, if you are watching this, right, if you ever, I will just send this to you. <laughs> if you're watching this, right, this dude here is like your biggest fan ever. Please meet this guy one day, okay? <laughs> you know Tamago? You know this is my schoolmate. He was my schoolmate in JC. Tell me about you interacted with him. We were like batchmates and stuff. Back when Dago was still a Peters and Charles still at Banks. Love. And yeah, with that, uh, I think that's it for this day 2 COVID vlog. I don't know whether I'm going to be vlogging my other days with this disease. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace!